This is the best kind of two pack. The kind that includes two brand new cars, not just one because yeah, Mattel definitely likes to do that sometimes. And what makes this even better is that I was able to find these two Gabriel and Aiden two packs in my local Target store for $8 each plus tax. And I have to say that's pretty exciting because around my area, I really don't find that many new cars and I have to get them on eBay or Amazon. So I was so hyped to find these the other day. I'm even more hyped to review them for you guys and open them up. So they are in the first case of 2018 two packs, although there is a little uncertainty with the cases because in the United States, people are finding the case with these guys. You know, you have Dexter Hoover, Charlie Checker, The King and Chick Hicks, Pat Traxon, Chris Revstopsky, Brick and Cal, and of course, Raul and Jeff Gorbett. Now, internationally for two packs like Mexico and Australia, people are finding like Pat Traxon, Chris Revstopsky, but instead of like Gabriel and Aiden, they're also finding the Dynaco Pity and Crew Chief or Rusty and Dusty Rusty. So there's a lot of two packs circulating out right now, but this is the only one that actually includes new cars. So that's why I definitely wanna focus on them and review them. I love the art on the package there. They both look very happy with a nice desert horizon in the background. They are in the Rusty's Racing Center series with the 95 logo there, red stripe. And that's because they are training to be perhaps the next Rusty's racer, the next gen for the company. But of course, we know that doesn't really happen. McQueen is still the representative by the end of Cars 3. You can see a picture there of Sterling talking to Rusty and Dusty about, you know, moving the company over into Sterling's possession. Rusty and Dusty, like I said, are out as a two-pack in Mexico and Australia. The description reads, the new Rusty's Racing Center features the latest in racer training technology. And of course, you have that in three other languages to accommodate for, you know, the diversity, all the multi-language people going on across the world. It just makes it easier to have multilingual packaging. So, you know, to, I don't know, eliminate confusion because they never used to do that for the United States. It's a new thing. And there you have a cool stock image of Gabriel and Aiden. So that's all for the packaging here. I did want to mention that Sterling is out as a single in this series. And I have been able to find several of him. So hopefully if you need him still, you can get him. And maybe even with the collector card because it's actually really, really cool. But anyway, I'll be right back with these two out of the package. Now, before we get into the review of these two awesome die casts, let's talk about where they appeared in Cars 3. So, I'll put some pictures on the screen to refresh your guys' memory. Only Gabriel, the blue one here, actually had like relevance in the movie. He kind of talked, and it's because Sterling was kind of going through the whole facility at Rusty's, showing McQueen around. And when he got to the treadmill, there was Kurt, Ronald, and Gabriel. Each one had their own thing that motivated them. And for Gabriel, it was seeing his hometown on the screen, which was a huge Easter egg to the upcoming Pixar movie, Coco, because it was, in fact, the town from Coco. And I found that really, really cool because Coco wasn't even out in theaters at the time, so it was kind of foreshadowing. I really did like that. As for Aiden, though, he didn't speak. He wasn't referenced in the movie, which is kind of unfortunate. I would have preferred if they released Kurt, Ronald, and Gabriel first instead of releasing, you know, Aiden here. Then you had Tom W. released recently as well, and we'll compare him to these two in a few minutes here. But I just wish they released more of the prominent ones first that people may be remembered from the movie because even Gabriel, he was barely in the movie at all. But 
Anyway, now let's get on to their review. I did want to mention that they may get re-released in the future, although I don't know. I kind of doubt it because there are a lot of these Rusty's trainees, and we will be getting a bunch more by the end of the year, like a pink one. I'll show that one on the screen there. He looks awesome and looks pretty cool because I love that vibrant color. But I think that these could get a little boring eventually. By the end of the year, they might just you know get a little dry because they're all gray. And then you have two different models to choose from and then just some different color accents. So hopefully I'm wrong, but I think it's a possibility. So we're going to start here with Gabriel who has kind of like this worried expression that does not match the card art at all, but it does kind of match the movie since he was a little unsure of himself. But I do like the expression. It actually gives him a lot of character. He is like this more blocky model that matches Danny Suarez here, or Paul Conrad, and a bunch more, but I just chose these two to compare. Gabriel does have a unique expression, though, that does not match any of the other next gens. The only thing that does is the mouth. They just changed up the eyes though. Now he does have this bright blue bumper, which is a different shade of blue than Tom W, who I reviewed previously. Link to that will be in the description below. But although it looks very similar, you can definitely tell in the spoilers that Tom W is a lot lighter blue. And Gabriel is more of a turquoise, which is something nice to differentiate them. And then you can kind of see like his cool headlights there with some color, a little blue to him, which is another point of accent like Gabriel or Aiden, my bad. See, I'm already getting them all mixed up as orange accents around the headlights. He has the grill. There are the vents in the bottom corners. Nice turquoise rims there to match all the other next gens. Like, you know, Paul Conrad has red ones. And of course, he has the light year tires, which are very, very small but you can kind of see the text there it's very thin but it does in fact say it it says rusty's racing center 049 that is his number his code i guess the amount of trainees maybe and then you have the light blue stripe there exhaust pipes blue or turquoise gas cap rim again roof flaps on the top i love the spoiler looks really nice nice vibrant color and on the back you have 49 once again, and then the color stripe there at the bottom. So not many details to him, and that's why I think that these could get a little redundant, a little boring after five or six of them, maybe even not that many. But like I said, I hope I'm wrong about that. Now the Disney Store actually released Gabriel and Aiden a long time ago, about a year actually. They were released and I reviewed them. Link to my review will be in the description below. So here he is. You can tell that they are the same because the numbers match up. And the expressions are insanely different. Although I do like the Mattel expression more because they just do a better job with eyes. I like that the Disney Store version is happy. The Disney Store did not go to the extra effort to put the actual white text on the tires. But everything else is generally the same. Obviously, they operate at 155 scale, Mattel does, and the Disney store operates at 143, so they are quite a bit bigger. You can see a lot bigger in this case. Some of them, you know, like some cars, like Sergeant High Gear, not much bigger than the Mattel version, but others quite a bit bigger. Now moving on to Aiden here, I like him a lot. I think I like him more than Gabriel because we haven't gotten an orange one yet and I do like his expression. Again, looks kind of worried. It is the same mouth, I think. Actually, the mouth looks a little bit different than you know cars that are his same model like Tim Treadless here. Obviously, the eyes are unique to him, but I also have Chase Racelet here. It just seems like the mouth isn't as long, so that's kind of nice. Makes him a new mold because the mouth is actually like carved into the metal there. Very, very nice. Yeah, another reason to like Aiden more, I guess, even though he didn't speak in the movie. Of course, the vents there, a little bit smaller than on... Actually, they're about the same size, they're just different shapes. Grills, 
orange tinted or accented headlights. Of course, you have the orange rims, light year again. His number is 003, so he seems to be a little bit luckier. It's always good to have a lower number, at least in my opinion. You have the exhaust pipes there, gas caps a little bit further back, roof flaps, orange spoiler. And of course on the back here, you don't actually have the orange stripe on the bottom there like Gabriel had, but you do have the number 003. Comparing him to the Disney Store version, it's actually kind of like the opposite. His expression on the Disney Store version is like very, very mean, whereas Gabriel was happy. Another difference I can spot is that he has the orange stripe along the headlights. The Disney Store version does not do that. Didn't do it for Gabriel either. I just didn't notice it at the time. And also the whole grill is like connected to the headlights on both of them, but that is not the case on the Mattel version. So a couple little small differences there. You have a black outline around the windshield. Mattel did not do that. You have the vents actually colored in on Mattel version, but they are just like indented on the Disney Store version. The orange color also looks to be slightly different, especially with the front bumper there. And other than that though, they are pretty much the same, with the biggest difference being the spoiler that is completely different. So I don't know what happened there. I do not know which is accurate, but I'm gonna give it to Mattel. Give them the benefit of the doubt because usually they are more accurate. So I will have to look when I am editing this video and putting the pictures on the screen of where they appeared in the movie. So now comparing him to Tom W, who is his same model. Oh, I just realized. Ah, they have the same expression. Darn, come on, Mattel. Man, that loses some points for Gabriel there. Wow, I cannot believe they would do that. So close together too in their release times. But, oh well, what are you going to do about it? It's not a huge deal, but just a little disappointing. Their spoilers are at least different though, so that's good. But yeah, I was hoping that they would have different expressions, and I thought they did too, but I guess not. Oh well, let me know in the comment section below which trainee of the three that we've gotten so far, Gabriel, Aiden, or Tom W, is your favorite. I think my favorite is Gabriel because he talked in the movie and he actually has a different expression and model from the two we've gotten. Yeah, I know. I said I like Gabriel or Aiden more. I'm getting them all mixed up. But I said I like Aiden more, but I kind of changed my mind because he has the same expression as Tom W. Like, come on, Mattel. Why you got to do that to us? But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let me know what you think about these two trainees and their Disney Store counterparts in the comments section below. I will see you guys next time for another review or another video. I don't know what it'll be exactly. I've been trying to do a lot of different videos lately that aren't reviews just to kind of keep things fresh. Like of course, a couple weeks ago, I did the why you never find new cars in a store anymore video, which was very successful. So I just wanted to say, Thank you guys for supporting that video and supporting me. I know I would not be here without you guys. And of course, 30,000 subscribers. I just hit that milestone recently. Super excited. And hopefully I can do a celebratory live stream soon. As soon as my voice gets a little better because after talking for, it's been like 15 minutes or so, it's getting a little weak. So I'm going to check out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.